recover together, recover stronger. Well, the Indonesian government are intensifying their efforts on a digital-based one data system or e-government in every region in Indonesia by building a super app that will increase the effectiveness and efficiency in different departments, such as the government's budgets. The push for this system of data digitization is in line with President Joko Widodo's G20 vision this year to actualize a digital ecosystem that is inclusive and that will empower Indonesian citizens and is also sustainable. The Indonesian government plans to formulate a one data government policy, or commonly referred to as e-governments. This policy plan is also in line with President Joko Widodo's G20 vision. To actualize a digital ecosystem that is inclusive, reaching even the most remote regions in Indonesia. During leaders' talk in Indonesia's Digital Economy Festival, Minister of Finance Sri Mulyani has said that the progress of digitization within the government has been running effectively. However, further infrastructure is needed to maximize reach to all regions in Indonesia. E-government has made work within the government much more effective and coordinated from the work system to the fruition of programs initiated by the government. Jadi yang puskesmas, Menteri Kesehatan sekarang mencoba untuk melakukan digitalisasi. Transfer dari anggaran pemerintah ke biaya operasi puskesmas kesehatan itu diharapkan bisa by puskesmas, by address, by account number. Sehingga tadi seperti tidak perlu melalui berbagai Sekolah kami dengan Pak Nadim itu sudah melakukan biaya operasi sekolah BOS itu sudah by school name, by school address, by school number. Dan bahkan di situ juga sudah dibangun aplikasi untuk pembelian. Jadi kalau sekarang kepala sekolah beli dia langsung terlihat di dalam aplikasi digitalnya. The idea to formulate a one data government policy, or e-government, is fully supported by Johnny Gerard Plate of the Ministry of Communications and Information Technology. By the effort to shape a super app to integrate other government apps. Right now, different sectors in the government have their own respective apps. A super app will maximize efficiency and bolster savings in the national budget. Pemerintah saja menggunakan 24.400 aplikasi, tidak efisien, bekerja sendiri-sendiri. Bahkan di setiap kementerian lembaga atau pemerintah daerah, masing-masing mempunyai aplikasi yang berbeda-beda di setiap subunitnya. Sangat tidak efisien. Sehingga kita harus menata ulang menghasilkan satu super aplikasi Indonesia. Paling tidak hanya cukup delapan aplikasi yang terintegrasi yang memudahkan komunikasi. Ini sedang kita siapkan dalam roadmap Kominfo. In formulating this one data government policy, the safety factor is also highlighted. Not only that, but they will also need to form a group of digital talents to take on this project. <laughs> 